Pom-Pom leaned over the edge of the icy shore and gazed into the deep green water. As he was just learning to swim, he didn't want to dive in and come snout to snout with a hungry shark. He hummed the song which his father Bear taught him. When Chop the Shark is in the sea, that's not the place for bears to be. Behind him, the ice cracked, and the piece beneath him rocked in the water. Pom-Pom turned and stared at the watery gap between the white shoreline and the slab of ice on which he floated. He gulped. As the cold green waves pushed the ice slab further away from shore, the gap grew wider. The young bear decided to dive into the sea and swim back to safety. Then he saw something dark move in the water below. He changed his mind at once. Pom-Pom was helpless, drifting away from shore and safety. His eyes filled with tears. Overhead flew Piffle the Puffin. I say, young bear, do you realise you're drifting in the wrong direction? Home is that way. I know. Then turn around, change your direction. The way you're heading leads out to sea. Turn around. I can't. I know the way I should be going, and I know I'm going in the wrong direction. But I can't help myself. Of course you can. Slip off that ice slab and swim home. I can't swim all that way. Well, the way you're heading, it's not going to get any shorter. Chomp the shark is in the water. Is he? Uh, oh, yes, and he does enjoy a good meal of... Uh, oh, most awkward. What can I do to save myself? Never fear. Piffle is here. Lean over the side, put a paw in the water, and paddle. Strong, steady strokes will take you back to shore. I'll direct you. The puffin flew up and hovered overhead. Pom-Pom leaned over the side and paddled with his paw while his feathered friend called... One stroke, two stroke, keep it up, that's the bloke. Four stroke, five stroke, six stroke, hokey doke. How am I going? Well, uh, actually, you're going round in circles. The bear and the puffin were so busy, they didn't see a dolphin pop his head out of the water. What's going on there? Oh, hello, Bubbles. This little bear has landed himself in a spot of bother, and I'm helping him to save himself. Get that paw out of the water. But that's his paddle. He won't have it for long if Chomp the shark sees it. The moment Chomp knows there's food on that slab, he will tip it up and eat whatever slides off it. Oh, dear, yeah. Well, don't frighten the little fur. Pom-Pom, keep your paw out of the water. Bubbles, what do you think he should do? He needs someone with power to help him. Yes, but he's only a bear cub, and who cares about one bear cub? Bubbles didn't wait to answer. He dived below while the puffin muttered to himself, Silly little bear getting himself into a mess like this. You tell them not to go near the water at this time of year. Will you stop talking to yourself and help me? Keep quiet, I'm thinking. For a while, the bear watched the puffin strut up and down, lost in thought. The reason Piffle was lost in thought was because it was unfamiliar territory to him. He clacked his bright orange beak to command attention and then declared, There is only one solution. You have to get used to living on this piece of ice. Each day I can bring you a fish. That's if you don't float too far away. Are you listening to me? Yes. You don't look like you're listening to me. You have your eyes closed. It might surprise you, but today I'm listening with my ears. Oh. He was interrupted by a whoosh of wind. Drops of water fell over them. The puffin looked up into the clear blue sky. I say, that's strange. There's not a cloud in sight. Whoosh went the wind and more droplets covered them. They turned to see Whopper the whale had surfaced right beside their ice slab. Gentle eyes blinked at them from a large grey head. Would you mind where you're spraying, you young squirt? That went all over me. The wide mouth opened and they heard a deep chuckle. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you should be. Now swim off, you big bumpy brute, and keep clear of our ice slab. You tip it over, and this poor little bear will take his last swim. Pom-Pom, Bubbles the Dolphin told me about the danger you were in. I've been trying to save myself, and I can't. But we'll think of an idea. Uh, do you know a way? I'm the way. Pom-Pom, I can take you back to shore and safety. Jump into the water and climb up onto my back. But what if I fall off your back? 
My back is rough. It's not smooth and slippery like your piece of ice. You won't fall off. But what if Chomp the shark is in the water? I'm not scared of sharks. Watch this. Whopper raised his great tail and brought it down whack on the water. It sprayed all over them. Do you mind? The sharks mind. The moment they hear my tail, they swim away. Now, young bear, will you trust yourself to me? You can rely on me to save your life and take you to safety. But what if... The only what if you need to worry about is what happens when your ice slab melts. Now, you can't swim. I can. You can't deal with Chomp the Shark. I can. Trust me. Rely on me and you'll be safe. Pom Pom hoped that someone would rescue him. But hope couldn't take him to safety. His heart warmed to the gentle giant of the ocean who cared about him and wanted to help. But love and gratitude couldn't save him. If he wanted to be safe and sound, he had to trust himself to the whale and rely on him all the way. He flopped into the water and then struggled up onto the whale's strong, broad back. The great one smiled as he felt the little fellow rest his whole weight on him. Hey, I, I say, old chap, would you mind giving me a lift too? There's plenty of space. Thank you. Jolly decent of you. He flew over and perched next to Pom Pom, whispering, I've never ridden on one of these before. All right, let's go. Oh, and do give us fair warning before you sneeze or blow your nose or whatever it is you do. Whopper hummed a happy tune as he cruised through the icy water towards land. The water around them hid many dangers. Safe on the whale's back, Pom Pom was glad that he had found such a strong, kind friend. As they neared the shore, Whopper turned and rested his tail on the ice. Pom Pom scrambled along this strange bridge and stood on solid ground. Piffle the Puffin landed beside him. Well, interesting creature, isn't he? Helpful. I didn't think he'd bother. Thank you. Your power and your kindness saved me. It did when you trusted yourself to me and relied on me. Then he waved his tail plunged into the sea and was gone. Well, wasn't it a good thing that you trusted the whale and relied on him? Yes, it was. But isn't it a good thing that the whale is trustworthy and reliable? The Bible tells us, God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. What does it mean to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? To trust him as your saviour. To give yourself up to him as your Lord and completely rely on him. In the words of St. Paul, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Mm -hmm.